Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Sorry about the wait, guys. I think we're ready to come back online, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry about the wait, guys. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Venkabot. Uh, pizza and a movie action. My name is David. Yo, I've got pizza. I got pizza. Godlike. Cottage in. Shout out to Cottage in. Is that time, Zanzi? No, sorry, Zanzi. Sorry to hear that, dude. Today is that day. Yeah, I didn't really make it very well known. I've been kind of slacking about getting the uh, schedule promoted on Discord, for instance. I should have made a bigger announcement about it. I'm sorry, dude. Um, but I've got pizza here. Oh, it looks fucking amazing. Too good to be true, even. Too good to be true. Yeah, uh, Zanzi can share in mind in spirit. Because I have pizza, I could make it. I've just eaten half of my day's calories already. Fuck. Dude, it's pizza, and car it's pizza in the movie night, dude. Get fat. Get fat and be merry. So, uh, what am I forgetting here? I think we're ready to get started, right? I've got my water, I've got my pizza, I've got the movie. Let's uh, see if it's too loud, first of all. Guys, before I get started, this is a, a movie from 1945 called uh, Scarlet Street. It's public domain, of course. I never, I never stream any kind of content on here that's not public domain. It's available to anybody. There's no copyright on it. Um, this is, I guess it's like a drama. It's like a black and white drama. I've heard good things about it, but I don't, much, uh, don't know anything about it besides that. No spoilers, please. If you guys have already seen this movie a billion times, no spoilers, please. Please. Let's see if this movie's any good or not. It's longer than I expected. I thought it was going to be like an hour and 20, so it's an hour 40 on the VLC. Okay, what do we got here? Three goblin. 1945, guys. I think it's not going to stay this loud. Oh my god, it's pizza. No way! Look at how deep. Oh my god. Joan Bennett in Scarlet Street. Oh, that's barely hearing the music? Okay. It'll be a little better, I hope. It'll be a good night. be a good vibe, yeah. It's very loud music. It's not gonna last forever, I don't think. Fritz Lang is a director, huh? Produced and directed by, wow. Don't see that anymore. He had a vision, apparently. Looks beautiful. Fritz Lang the goat. Time for black and white stuff, Zanzi. You guys hear me okay? Yeah, it's HD, yeah. This version is widely available in SD. Thank you, Zanzi. But archive.org had a couple HD copies, which is awesome. Okay, having a party sounds like. Wow. Hydrogen so godlike. Let me know if the volume is good enough for the audio in the movie. If you can hear them doing their dialogue. I mean, it's totally silent right now. So <laughs> that doesn't count. Here we go. Well, boys, I hate to break up a good party, but you can't keep a woman waiting, can you? You know how it is. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that we do, Mr. That's right, JJ. I'll say you can't, JJ. I can see you all understand, all right. <laughs> well, believe you me, boys, I've had the time of my life tonight. And speaking of time, I have here a 14 carat 17 jewel timepiece. Good stuff, Zanzi. And that's only right, because the man I'm giving it to is a 14 carat 17 jewel cashier. Cashier? I mean, something different back in the 40s. Huh? Oh, that's a beautiful watch, JJ. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful watch. This? Cool directing. Wow. Read what's engraved inside, Chris. He's got a very particular face, doesn't he? To my friend Christopher Cross. Christopher Cross? In a token of 25 years of faithful service from J.J. Hogarth, 1909-1934. Let's go. Speed, speed, speak up, Chris, speak up. Come yeah, on, the first Chris, try's about to meet up. Maybe one day, dude. Well, I, uh... 
I, I hardly know what to say, J.J. This, uh, why, it, it, it's beautiful. I, I never expected to own a watch like this. <laughs> no, sir, I, well, all I can say is that uh, we've got the best boss in New York. <laughs> in New York. That'll be just one day good vibes. He's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Congratulations, old boy. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris. Chris Cross. God bless you. Thank you. Have a smoke before I go. Well, you're right, good man. We do those in the end of our stream. Go ahead and try it. We'll end the stream every day that way. Dollar piece. Here, Jolly. Oh, thanks. Don't smoke, kids. Thank you. That's why I'm cool and dapper like these guys. No, 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 sir. No, sir. <laughs> now, don't break up a good party just because I've got to go. Everything is charged to JJ. Nice. So drink all you want. Let's go, JJ. Only don't come in late Monday morning with a hangover. Oh, oh. Don't worry. We won't we'll be right there all the time. Uh, good night, boys. Good night, boys. Thanks, Johnny. Very generous, though. Seems like he's well liked. Oh, boy, aren't you a lucky I'll treasure this for the rest of the I'll bet you. Like a PS4 from 1945, right? Hey, fellas, look! Look! Look at your cool watch. JJ Zanzu. He's the JJ, whoever of this stream. He's not super rich, though. He's out here working his ass off. Very generous. He's got a monkey? Get a load of that dame. Yo, fuck the dame! This man's got a monkey? <laughs> is that normal in 45? The boss is stepping out. <laughs> say if I had to do it, he's got, I'd step out too. I'd be all in the laundry tonight. <laughs> Nothing like the smell of spring. Which way do you go, Chris? Well, I guess I'll take the east side subway. Before the monkey prohibition. Get to Brooklyn a little quicker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Here goes. That dame has put a pair of gams on her. Well, no, I'll take you to your bus. Oh, no, no, that's out of your way. Well, I don't mind walking, you know, fresh air, spring. <laughs> hey, I'm a little drunk. <laughs> this movie's already fucking godlike. I mean, especially the, the visual quality. It's such a good rip. Never mind, I'll catch the next one. You go on over to the subway. Oh, I don't mind waiting. I I feel kind of lonely tonight. Say, uh, Charlie, uh, you suppose J.J. is running around with that young lady? It looks that way. I, I, I wonder what it's like. What, Chris? Being rich? Well, to be, to be loved by a young girl like that. Oh. You know, nobody ever looked at me like that. Not even when I was young. Yes, when we're young, we have dreams that never pan out, but we go on dreaming. When I was young, I wanted to be an artist. You know, I dreamt I was going to be a great painter someday. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm a cashier. Do you still paint? Yeah, every hmm. Sunday. Well, that's Let's one go, way here to goes. time. You know, Sunday's one day of the week that I don't like. I never know what to do with myself. Well, why don't you come over tomorrow and see me? Thanks, Chris, I'll do that. Hmm. Hang out with his friend, huh? Good night, Chris. Uh, good night, Charlie. Uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, good night. Oh, Chris, what are you doing? Kermit's a jewelry. Was that a name back in the day? Before the puppet, you just be named Kermit? My name my son, Kermit. I'm gonna put the crab I made for my ramen on my pizza. Let's go. Crab pizza? Oh, stop raining. Yeah, a half hour ago. Oh, so, uh, which way is it to the east side subway? Round the corner, past the L, four blocks. Oh, thank you, officer. Oh, half I guess hour I ago? got turned around. These streets are all mixed up in Greenwich Village. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty drunk, I guess, huh? It was indeed a regular ass name you could have, huh? Back before the Kermit Prohibition of 1950. Ooh! The fuck? Oh, no! What an asshole!
No, it's a Dane. Wow. He really went ham. The girl pretty. Nice scams on that dame. Is he hurt? Who cares? I'll go call a policeman. No, wait! Wait! Eight before cell phones, huh? So I run down and look for an officer. The fuck? Oh, it's the police. Okay. Where'd they go? In that direction. What does he look like? I don't know. I didn't see his face. He took fifteen dollars. He didn't believe it was all I had, so he began pushing me around. Then this gentleman ran in and knocked him down. Mm. That's right, officer. He was right there. I couldn't hold him. He got up and ran. Wait here. It was like Humphrey was a name, and then people started well, realizing it was a here. dumbass well, we name. have to wait for the officer. Humphrey? I don't want to get my name in the newspaper. Do you? Well, the newspaper? Sure. We'll have to go down to the station house and make a complaint. And every time they make an arrest, they send detectives to your house for weeks. Oh, it's a nuisance. Hmm. Won't you take me home? Uh, why, yes. Uh, well, uh, sure, that is. If, uh, well, if you think that... Uh... Let's well, go. here's where I live. Let's go. She's beautiful hair. Oh, I'm uh, sorry I can't ask you to come up, but uh, I share my apartment with another girl. No. Yo! Good night, and thanks for everything. Yo! Don't you, uh, uh, don't you want a cup of coffee? All right. Yo! Is he awkward, Zanzu, or is he smooth as fuck? So let's get some coffee, dude. He said, fuck going to bed. Tiny's Diner. Hello, Kitty. Hello, Tiny. Oh, this is Mr. Uh... Cross. Glad to know you, Mr. Cross. Oh, uh, how do you do? You seen Johnny? Uh, no, not uh, since he left here. Uh, two coffees, please. Oh, I think I'll change my mind. I could stand a drink. A rum Collins. One rum Collins? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, come on. Keep me company. Well, uh, Damn. you see, I, I've already had a good deal of champagne. You want champagne? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, make mine the same. Yeah, Ever what's going I on here? I saw you, I, I was wondering what your name was. Kitty. It's really... Ca Catherine. Catherine March. My friends call me Kitty. <laughs> what do your friends call you? Uh, Chris. Chris Cross. Chris Cross. <laughs> yes, the boys tease me about it, but uh, oh, I don't mind. Wow, what a dress. Where is she going tonight? Why are you looking at me? Is my face dirty? It's beautiful. I'll bet it is. <laughs> Gee, I'm sight. Hmm. Okay, we're learning about these characters, right? Very vain. But she kind of looked at that. Uh, remember that? Jeez, uh, Chris. The janitor. She kind of like kicked aside. Oh, uh, Miss March. Uh... Kitty. Yes, Miss. Uh, I mean, uh, Kitty. Uh, well, uh, look, uh, Kitty. Uh, since I'm old enough to be your father. I... You're not so old. You don't think so? Well, you're not a boy. You're just uh, a man. Mature. Uh oh. I like mature people. Yo. Well, what I wanted to say was, uh, you shouldn't be alone in the street so late at night. I was coming home from work. You work this late? Mm-hmm. What do you do? Guess. Yeah, she's so cool though. You're an actress. Oh, you are clever. Now that you know all about me, tell me about yourself. What do you do? I? I, um... Uh, well, you see... No, 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 don't tell me. You work in a bank? <laughs> no. Well, let's see. Greenwich Village is full of artists. I meet you in Greenwich Village. You must be an artist, right? 
Well, I, uh, yes, yes, I, I paint. Of course, you're a painter. I love paintings. To think I took you for a cashier. You know those art galleries on Japan, also a painter, the prices they charge. I saw one little picture that cost $50,000. They call it a um, uh, Cezanne. Cezanne. Oh, he was a great French painter. Um, I like to Hey, up, Will? How long time to see homeboy? You would. How you doing, dude? Mm. For $50,000? Well, you, you can't put any price on masterpieces like that. They're worth... Uh, well, whatever you can afford to pay for them. You know what, Chris? I bet I saw some of your pictures there and didn't know it. Next time, I'll look for your name. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, um, I, 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 I don't sell my pictures. Well, not in New York, you mean. No, I... Uh... I know. I bet you sell your pictures in Europe, France, or someplace like that. You can tell I don't know much about painting. I bet you get as much for your pictures in France as those Frenchmen get right here in New York. Wow, that'd be funny. And you're never appreciated in your own country. I never thought about that before. Well, that's that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> but you know, when I paint, uh, um, I don't think of money. I, I just paint for fun. Fun? Yes, I think it's the most fun I know, painting. I wish I had all the time to paint. Well, don't you have time? Oh, no. Uh, well, you, yes. It's a pretty uh, rough customer. See, I, I, I get the impression it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of tough. Well, you know, business takes a lot of time. No wonder when you get all that money. Yeah. Well, um, uh, what what play are you acting in? It closed tonight. Which one? The one I was in. What time is it? No. Oh. It's only ten past two. Only? Oh, it's time for Kitty to be in bed. <sighs> So you won't forget me. All right. It's kind of whack. Can't I see you again? Oh, sure, sometime. Well, if you'll give me your telephone number. I haven't got a phone. Well, may I write you? That's the address. Good night, Chris. Kitty, wow. Who's Johnny? Why do you ask that? Well, I, I just heard you ask the bartender. Oh, oh, sure. He's just a fellow I know. He's uh, Millie's boyfriend. You know, the girl I live with. Good night, Chris. Good night, Kitty. Hmm. She's being cute, leave her alone, hater. I don't like her, dude. I like this kitty character. So I'm saying here goes, mad sus. Mad sus. But he's starved. He's inspired, though. Oh, he's painting the flower, okay. Said that. Christopher! The fuck? I'm busy, yes, lady. Back off. I hope you're right here, guys. This is a drama. It says, mark my words. I hope he goes nuts. Well, well. Oh, hey, it's his friend. A pleasure. I didn't expect to see you, Charlie. But, Chris, you asked me. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's good to see you anyway. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, uh, that was a swell party last night, wasn't it, Charlie? She's married. Uh, say, uh, what time would we go home? Uh, after midnight, wasn't it? You know, I haven't been to bed yet. You haven't? I guess I'm it's not a nice place. I thought I was, eh, Charlie? No, <laughs> no. Oh, I've got to do the dishes for Adele. Uh, you don't mind, Charlie, do you? No, 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 no. Go right ahead. So he's married. Okay, I didn't expect that. Is that his boss? Say, uh, no, that's supposed to be his. Did uh, you paint this? Great Scott, no. That isn't painting. That's mud done by a photographer. Who is it? The uh, late departed. Oh, your wife's former husband, oh. Detective Sergeant Higgins. Hmm. Homer Higgins. Say, that's a real medal, isn't it? Yeah. Adele got it. Your wife? Yeah. After he was drowned in the East River. Jumped in to save a woman. Neither body was found. Oh. Too bad. Yeah. Too bad. 
Hmm, okay, so we got some development about his wife and her old husband, her last husband. He was a police officer oh, or something. Thank you, Charlie. So. He died in a river trying to save a lady. How long have you been married, Chris? Now his wife has a medal. Five years. Well, uh, she, uh, she didn't want to spend his insurance money, and so she rented out the spare room. Only four dollars a week. Well, I was yeah, trying to save money to buy Must things. be his place, you think, right? Goodbye. So I moved in. Oh, she was sweet. But I wouldn't melt in her mouth. And, uh... Well, you know how these things go. <laughs> Smoke? Oh. Yeah, I guess he went out of So he scared his wife. We know that much about him, right? Where are your paintings, Chris? Uh, they're out in the hall. Uh, would you like to see what I did today? And he stuck yes, to a woman's like work. To. I feel like that's symbolic, right, of the times. His relationship is not that good with his wife. She doesn't want friends coming over. She doesn't let him smoke in the house. He's out here doing dishes. Has a picture of her ex on the wall. Where did you find a, a flower like that? Hmm. You mean... You see this when you look at that? Oh, wow. Well, yes. Uh, that is, I, I, I sort of feel it. Uh, you see, when I look at that flower, I see someone... Is there anything private in this house? Uh, I'm sorry, Adele. We better get out of here. Why is he painting in the bathroom anyway? All right, Adele. His wife is confirmed a bitch. Wife confirmed a bitch. Oh, she got a letter. This must be Kitty. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is Charlie. I kind of was smacking around before. Can't you get those lazy legs off that couch, baby? Come here. Damn. Can't you do any Paper better wave. than that? That's all you think about, lazy legs, hmm? What else is there to think about? Damn! She is, uh... She is definitely thirsty. If you want more heat in this apartment, miss, you'll have to call a janitor. <laughs> you idiot. How come you're holding out on me, baby? Oh, stop talking about Saturday night. Well, I'm not talking about Saturday night. I'm talking about this. <clears throat> Sounds like a schoolboy trying to make a date. You must be robbing the cradle. <laughs> What's so funny? You are. He's old enough to be my father. That's the oh. old fellow who came to my rescue Saturday night. My hero. No kidding. See? You were too tight to remember anything. If I hadn't told the cop to go in the wrong direction, he'd have picked you up. This is the old fellow who butted in? Mm -hmm. The painter? He's rich and famous and very sweet too, Johnny. He doesn't pull any rough stuff like you. Well, I had a chance to clean up in a crap game. All I needed was 50 bucks. And what did you show up with? 15, for cat's sake. That's all I had. Besides, you kept me waiting two hours in the rain. And then you gave me a dirty look. I didn't give you a dirty look. Listen, any girl who waits two hours in the rain for a guy is gonna give him a dirty look. <laughs> the trouble with you, baby, is you have no imagination. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to use your brains. But for cat's sake, this chump is crazy about you. This is a setup. He's in the big money, isn't he? You said 50,000 a picture, didn't you? Mm -hmm. well, here I am, knocking my brains out, trying to raise a little capital, and this is right in your lap. You don't have to call uh, what's-his-name and get a measly 50. This bird is goofy about you. Write him, date him up. Oh, I can't take money off an old man like that. She's not very domestic, see? For cat's Dirty sake, dishes. get big-hearted and smart, lazy legs. Why well, see fellas in the big door without half my brains? But ability isn't enough. You gotta have money to make money. Capital. 
But the boys at the Acme garage have cut me in on a half interest if I can put up the money. How much do they want? Oh, three or four thousand. Yay! Well, for cat's sake, I'm not talking about chicken feed. Use your imagination. You get an interest in a business like that, and it's a cinch to squeeze out your partners. Then you're on easy street. Jesus, the <laughs> cat dreams you street. have. Now, what about the letter? Oh, I can get 50 or 100, perhaps, but I can't get the kind of money you're talking about. I wouldn't know how. Ah. Uh. Johnny? Johnny, where are you going? Well, I won't be wasting my time. Johnny? Johnny? Oh, I don't know why I'm so crazy about you. Oh, yes, you do. Now, what about my proposition? You don't have to tap the old chump for much, not at first. We'll get you a decent apartment, someplace where I like to come and see you, not a dump like this. Well, Lazy Legs? Hmm, okay. May I come into my own apartment? Hello, funny face. Why don't you just move in, Johnny, then I can move out. You know, Millie, stop picking on my fiance. How do you spell that word? With an F. Like in funny face. Whoa! She pays half the rent, doesn't she? Well, that He's was a general idea, fucker, big shop, and we signed the lease. Well, I don't mind if you want this place to yourself. Do you, baby? Okay, so we've got some more of character dynamics here. What's he mean by that? Oh, nothing. You know Johnny. Yeah, I know Johnny, all right. Has he bought you that engagement ring yet? Oh, you seem to worry more about it than I do. So she, he manipulates her. I didn't expect that. I thought they were going to be like equal partners in crime. The new $45 model. Oh, Rogers let me have it for 18 Yo, $45? That. That's like $10,000 in every 45 money. I have been. Oh. I ache like a dog. Of course it's ever come back. I swear I'll quit modeling. Why don't you go back to work? That figure, if you weren't so darn lazy. Who do you think you are? My guardian angel? Not Did you just me, drop honey. all the trash on the ground? I lost those wings a long time ago. Mm, that's what I thought. No wonder you got fired, you're so darn snippy. You never could get to work on time after you met that Johnny. Johnny, what's happened to you? Don't you wish it could happen to you? I'm in love, crazy in love. With a man that pushes you around the way I wouldn't push a cat around. You leave Johnny out of this. With your looks and figure, you could get any man you want. Sure, but there's only one I want. Yeah, and he's making a tramp out of you. You wouldn't know love if it hit you in the face. If that's where it hits you, you ought to know. Damn. Wow. The shit talking is real in 1945, dude. She told she takes it in the face. So he's gonna write this guy back, huh? This guy that, uh, this painter, cashier dude. Because she thinks he's rich, but he's not. He's not that rich. But she's too stupid to know that. I don't know, he must make pretty good money though, right? I mean, you see his house? He must be some kind of rich. If not from his paintings, anyway. I'm saying good vibe. That's a nice place. That Robin For New York. Like I feel. They look, there's a pair of them up there. They're building their nest. Say, where'd you learn that? Oh, <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> you talked to birds. Yeah, I bet I haven't done that in 40 years. Yeah, I feel like a kid myself today. Sold any pictures lately? Mm -mm. Why don't you paint my picture? I'd like to. Could I bring my easel to your apartment? Oh, I'm afraid my girlfriend wouldn't like that. How long does it take you to paint a picture? Well, uh, sometimes a day, sometimes a year. You can't tell. It has to grow. I never knew paint could grow. Uh, feeling grows. You know, that's the important thing, feeling. Well, now you take me. Well, just a thing, a raging bull would be door, happening at so the same time. I just put a line around what I feel when I look at things. Yeah, I see. It's like... Uh, 45. Uh, that's not zombie far back. We don't play uh, long plays on Fridays. You know. Be on Monday. Oh, boy. First you see someone and then it keeps growing and until you can't think of anyone else. That's interesting. Yes, sir, about that. Well, the way I look at things, that's all art is. 
every painting, if it's any good, is a love affair. I never heard anyone talk like that before. Oh, well, uh, there, there aren't many people you can talk to this way. So you keep it to yourself. You walk around with everything bottled up. Yeah, that's right. That's the way it is with me, too. I'm sort of keeping things bottled up, too, Chris. She's gonna file a fall for him, right? The truth is, I'm in a jam. You, Kitty? Oh, you probably guessed it. I'm broke. Even this dress belongs to Millie. I can't pay my rent. Hmm. Well, how much is it? Oh, forget it. I shouldn't have told you. Oh, my God. spoil your day. Oh, but Kitty... I'll get out of it somehow. I couldn't take anything from you, Chris. No. Uh, yes, I, I mean... No, no, I couldn't. I'd never taken money from a man, and I'm not going to now. And I'm not going to spoil our friendship. Oh, but Kitty, uh... I couldn't pay you back. Oh. Chris, maybe I could pay you back. If you put up the money for a studio apartment, then I'd have a place to live and you could paint there. Don't you see? You could paint my portrait. Wow. Wow! What's the matter? Don't you want to paint my picture? There's something I've got to tell you, Kitty. What? I deceived you. I lied. Oh. I'm a married man, Kitty. That's about a laugh. Why didn't you tell me, Chris? You know I'm not the kind of a girl to run around with a married man, don't you? You know what you said about meeting someone? How you begin to like them? And oh, my, yes. And you can't think about anybody else? You should have told me you had a wife, Chris. Yes, but I'm not in love with her, Kitty. You he married her. Well, I was lonely. I, I, I couldn't stand my loneliness. Damn. Poor Chris. This is deep. Well, then you're not angry with me? Well, I suppose I ought to be, but I'm not. Wow. Not with you, Chris. I'm going to let you help me. Well, how much do you need? $500. Come on. Oh, my God. She's getting to this guy that's old and be her dad. I don't know, dude. She's pretty sneaky. 500. I mean, this is 1945. It's gonna be what, like a billion dollars? Wait, is he robbing his work? Oh, <gasps> what a fucking asshole! Yo, my god, dude, this is our protagonist. Putting it back. Why even did he even thought of that? What an idiot. Jesus. I need five hundred dollars. I could pay it back ten dollars a week. That's all right, Mr. Cross. But you'll have to have a co-signer. Thank you. No. Property owner. Property owner? Just a formality. His wife? Uh-uh. Thank you very much. Anytime. He's got to bring his wife to sign for his... Well, why can't that old skinflint Hogarth give you a raise? You don't even make enough money to buy me a radio. I have to run downstairs every night to listen to the radio. The way I have to scrimp and save and you wasting money on paints. I'd like to know what you'd do without me. Poor dear Homer. If only he had a grave where I could put some flowers. Why, you couldn't even ask me to marry you. I had to put the words into your mouth. I'd have been better off a widow. Damn. The only reason I put up with you is because I'm married to you. I'm stuck. Yes, and I'm stuck, too. Have you been drinking? No, I haven't. Let me smell your breath. <sighs> no. Then what's the matter with you? Why are you shouting at me? Well, you keep blaming me for not buying you a radio. But you think I like running downstairs every night to listen to the radio? Well, why don't you buy a radio? You have money. His insurance money? Well, I don't want a radio. You want it. I'll never touch those bonds. They're for my old age. If Homer were alive, I'd have a radio. He made a good salary. He gave me a good home. Well, you're living in the same apartment, aren't you? Yes. But it didn't smell of paint. Ooh. I can't sleep with the smell of paint. And all your silly pictures cluttering up the hall. If you don't get rid of that trash, I swear I'll give it to the junk man. Well, Adele. I will. I swear I will. 
<laughs> and the things you paint. It was bad enough when you used to copy picture postcards. Well, Utrillo copies postcards, and he's considered a great painter. <laughs> now I suppose you're copying Utrillo, whatever his name is. They're getting crazier all the time. Oh, yes. No, I saw fuck this bitch. Doing. Girls. Snakes. Next thing you'll be painting women without clothes. I never saw a woman without any clothes. I should hope not. What? What? Nice right there, my dude. The Do happy it. household hours. Just coming on, dear. I'll be right down, Dora. Mr. Cross came home late. Go ahead and eat. And then do the dishes. Uh -huh. This is the happy household now. Oh my yeah. Uh, getting money from the wife to fund the bit on the side like a savage. No soap gives you more happiness, more washings, and more She's one hell of a character, isn't she? Jesus. Happy hour bubble suds. Ask your nearest grocer for the large economy So we can't ask his wife to help him get money. And now he's gonna forge her signature? As you remember, we left Hilda in the laundry. But that knife was put there on purpose. Maybe you're right. I could vibe on the director. Symbolic. Symbolic of their... Yeah, see, look. Right? They're married. They don't fuck. I mean, they're pretty old, I guess, but still. If I'm going to say I never saw a woman naked before, and she's like, I, I, I would hope not. He's an old man. So I guess they're not going to ever have kids, right? I assume she didn't have kids. Maybe she did. Uh-oh. So he's going to get her signature. He's going to forge it. Christopher! Oh! Yup! What are you doing? Hurry up, dude! Let him put it back so dangerously. Put that shit in there, quick, my mans! Christopher! Yo! Yo, why don't you just fucking put the key in your pocket, you idiot? What are you doing? I was, uh... Laying down. Looking for the paper. A blind? Oh. Well, uh, didn't you, uh... Didn't you like the radio? It went off right in the middle of a program. I wouldn't have such a radio. Wow, so ungrateful hey, for uh, a friend. Did you read this? Read what? Uh, this murder in Queens. A man killed his wife with a window weight, put a body in the trunk and shipped it to California. Uh, it says here... I've read the paper, thank you. He didn't get away with it, did he? He'll go to the chair, as he should. Yeah, man hasn't got a chance with these New York detectives. Can't you put that paper down and do the dishes? Wow. She's out here playing solitaire. Look at that bread he's got. Uh, Adele, you didn't mean what you said about giving my paintings away to the junk man. You'll find out. Wow, what a bitch. He's gonna have to kill her or what? What's gonna happen, guys? Who's killing who? Is I want to well, know. Well, uh, you won't have to. Uh, a friend of mine is taking an apartment in Greenwich Village. Uh, I'll move everything there. Well, if he's fool enough to let you do it, go ahead. The sooner the better. Yeah. Nice. Top floor. You'll get plenty of light. Lots of privacy. She's a hyper. Uh, you've heard of Tony Rivera, the illustrator? He had this apartment on a three-year lease. Couldn't work anywhere else. Uh, this was his studio. Okay, he's gonna have a studio now. The sketches on the wall are Rivera's. He'd do that with his models sometimes when he was working on a magazine cover. Some people pay a lot of money for those. Are you an artist, Miss March? Uh-huh. Where's the bedroom? Oh, uh, this way. Nice pimp cane. What's the rent, Mr. Jones? Oh, 150. Oh, there are some things that Rivera left here stored in the basement. They go with the apartment. 150. Huh? To well, use time to be alive. Here you are. Time to be alive. Bedroom. I don't like the wallpaper. Will they change the paper? I guess so, on a year's lease. I'll pick it out myself. Let's go. New transition. Pizza's so godlike.
What's with these little beds, man? Is that a thing from the 40s? Can't get a real bed? Nice place like this? Sleeping in a fucking twin? Uh oh. Cigarettes? What? Well, don't break the bag. Uh, hello, Lazy Legs. Oh, I thought I heard the doorbell. <sighs> I didn't hear anything. What the fuck are they doing? Well, there's a couple of slobs, right? Say, is this all you've got? I'm lucky I have that left the way you were throwing it around last night. You even bought me a book, honey. You're supposed to be an actress, aren't you? Shakespeare, for Pete's sake. Corny. Oh, he's looking for stuff. Say, that's all I have left. You know where to get more, don't you, Lazy Legs? Wow, he's smart. Told me he hadn't sold any pictures for a long time. And I'm in hock for all this. Got yeah, a nice place now, that's for sure. Look, Kitty. I need at least a thousand dollars. Ouch! Well, you got him softened up. Now push him around a bit. He seems to get scared when I talk about money. Listen, baby, you got him right where you want him. He's on the hook and can't get off. He can walk out, can't he? He's got a wife, hasn't he? Just drop a hint that his wife might find out about this apartment and he'll shell out fast. That's blackmail. What's wrong with that? It's only blackmail, baby. When you're dumb enough to get caught. Wow. I respect that. Is that him? I told you I heard the doorbell. For cat's sake. Get rid of him. I'll hide somewhere, you doofus. I don't know the bed. Basic stuff, man. You ever cheat on somebody before? Come on. Fundamentals. <laughs> it's gotta be demure now. It's gotta be demure. She's a total slob. Why? Don't you answer doorbells? Thought you were mad at me. Peace offering. Scotch. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Come with scotch. I didn't think you were out. It's only ten past twelve. I ran downstairs and I found the door was open. I closet in the 1940s. I'd watch well, that. Well, well. You're doing all right for a working girl. Now don't start that again. <gasps> don't tell me he's under the sofa, too. No, bright eyes. You can come out, Johnny. All you have to do is call, funny face. Oh, oh. So Charlie must be his code name, right? Remember that called Charlie? Must be a killing right? in Wall Street, Mr. Prince. Could be. Last time I saw Johnny, he was talking about going to Hollywood. I might try it yet. Why, well, I read in a movie magazine about a fellow who landed in Hollywood stone broke and cleaned up a million. No experience either. All he had was looks. And he worked in a drugstore. If he worked, Johnny, he didn't look like you. Oh, you two stop fighting. I'm not fighting, baby. She just doesn't know my speed. Why hear a movie actor's get like five, his wife. ten thousand a week? For what? For acting tough? For pushing girls in the face? What do they do I can't do? You're so clever, why don't you do it? I might, funny face. I might. Kind of a whack tie indeed. Chris! Oh, I brought over yeah. some of my things, Kitty. I'll bring some more tomorrow. The rest on Saturday. Hmm. So what's his, her roommate going to think? Oh, uh, you have company. Well, just Millie and Johnny. Sure. You know, Millie's boyfriend. Come on, I want you to meet them. Oh, I thought it was Millie, Charlie. Millie, this is a friend of mine, Mr. Cross, Miss Ray. How do you do, Miss Ray? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Cross. And uh, Johnny Prince. Glad to know you, Mr. Cross. How do you do? He's tall. It seems to me I've seen you before somewhere. Oh, Could be. right. Could be, Mr. Cross. Yes, I... Uh, I just don't seem to remember. Maybe I'm mistaken. 
Could be. Well, I'll go along, so kid. I'll Could go be. with you, sweetheart. Oh, don't bother, Johnny. Well, I wouldn't think of letting you go alone, darling. You might get run over by a streetcar. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Cross. Bye. Nice to see you. Thanks for the scotch, Millie. That's okay. Bye. Oh, Kitty. So long, Johnny. Now, what's the matter, Chris? Uh, I, I don't think I like that young man she's in love with. Oh, Johnny's all right. Oh, I know he is, or he wouldn't be a friend, but uh, there's something about him that... She's <clears throat> crazy about him. Well, uh, would you, uh, hmm. uh, would you like to see my pictures? Not yet. Come sit down, Chris. Damn. Let's go. You happy? Get to smooching. For the first time in my life. Very happy? I think of you all the time. Get to smooching. All I want is to see you, be near you. You? I know I haven't any right to ask you this, but have you ever... What? Smooched? Well, there, there must have been other men who... Just one, Chris. Yo. Do you still see him? PG going to 18 plus in 10 seconds, my God. Look, Kitty, if I were single, if I had no wife... But you have a wife. Yes, I know, but if she'd... Uh, well, if something would happen that would make me free... What the fuck? Would you marry me? Oh, you! Let's not talk about it now, dear. What I'm worried about is getting a job. Living like this, it's expensive. Good vibe, the katana. I, I, I don't like to ask you for anything more because, well, you say you haven't sold any pictures lately. Yes, but don't you have enough money? Oh, you have no idea what a problem money is for an actress, Chris. Talent doesn't count in the theater. Everything is pull, contacts, knowing the right people. Mm. You have to get an agent. They charge plenty. Wear smart clothes. Be attractive. Oh, but Kitty, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, Chris. Your face doesn't mean a thing. It's clothes, perfumes, making the right impression. My actress needs a thousand dollars just to get a decent wardrobe. thousand dollars? At least. Maybe I can borrow it from Millie. Or her boyfriend, Johnny. He's got plenty of money. Yo. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, no, yeah, Kitty. Uh, no, not, not from Johnny. Why not? Well, uh, I'll, I'll get you the money uh, some way. Chris, you're a darling. I really believe you're in love with me. I am, Kitty. I am. <laughs> Chris, you're... You're a caveman. I, I like you to like me, but, well, there's a limit. Yes, I Whoa. know. She's in love with Johnny. She's well, pretty greedy, go. though. I'm supposed to be back. I'll come here tomorrow. But she's not kidding. really, though. I'll be waiting for you. I'm sorry you have to go. Isn't that funny how she's, like, she's really easygoing. Bye-bye, dear. But Johnny always wants more money out of her. That's why, she, that's why she's harassing this guy. get the money. I'll get it. She's trying to impress Johnny. Johnny's one of the most of money. She doesn't give a shit. Bye bye, Chris. Goodbye. Yeah, Johnny said earlier he wants thousand dollars, and she's trying to impress him. Just a solid snake right there. Money make it the man. Oh, that's a Johnny, the snake. That's called mistake. I called him solid snake before. They don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> the poor sap must be a hophead seeing snakes on the L. Imagine anyone paying money for this stuff. Say, are you sure he's not a phony? Ah, uh, he's too dumb to be a phony. You're right there. And how would he get all the money? Why, if he had to work for a living, he couldn't make $50 a week. You just don't know art. Maybe not, but I'm going to find out about it. I kind of like this one. But where would you find flowers like that? Oh, that's sad. I wonder if I couldn't sell these. 
And what do I do when he asks where they are? Say you put them in storage. You know, you gotta protect them. You can't leave valuable paintings lying around where somebody can pick them up. You'd get in trouble. Any gallery'd know his work. <laughs> he this... tried to kiss me today. And don't think I liked it. Oh, you've been kissed before. Say, Whoa, they're see? not even signed. Oh, that doesn't matter. They'd know them. Not where I take them, baby. Johnny, I can't stand to have anybody touch me but you. Uh, I hate him when he looks at me like that. If he were mean or vicious or if he bore me out or something, I'd like him better. Oh, you don't love me or you'd understand what I mean. No? No. Yeah. Get him. Get him. She likes the bad boys, dude. No? Well, maybe. She likes the bad boys, dude. Who wouldn't? Working late tonight, Mr. Cross? Oh, I'm about through, Ben. You can let me out in a minute. Yes, sir. A duster, man. What time to be alive? Fuck a duster, dude. I'm not trying to dust anything. Get that swiffer. He's doing it. <gasps> no! No! You idiot! I just caught you in time. Yeah? Just say yeah. Catch this for me, will you, Chris? It's personal. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, of course, JJ. Oh my god. The tension. Why'd you leave the envelope there, you fucking idiot? What a dope. Just turn a pipe in the mouth. You won't see that very often. Oh, Not these days. Thank you, Chris. Good night. Good night, JJ. That's your boss. Your boss is cool. You gonna fuck him over like that? For a woman? Oh my Hello, god. Man. Hope that watch burns a hole in your pocket, dude. Hope that watch burns a hole in your pocket. What you got? I'm gonna try and sell the, the fella that painted those gets 50 grand for a single picture. Hey, what's the matter with you, Nick? Where'd you pick them up, over in Washington Square? The village long hairs are peddling junk like that for the price of the canvas. These weren't painted by any village long hair. That's my pawn shop, isn't it? And that snake is strictly from the Bronx. This fellow lives in Brooklyn. He's famous. Yeah, what's his name? Well, I... Look, Nick, I brought your stuff before and you never asked for any name on it. That was jewelry. Bring me some more of that and we can do business, Johnny. Take Thanks this junk back to Washington Square where you got it. Hmm. Is he here to compare the art of the... Those are the hippies there that are well, pre-hippies, I guess. Selling shitty art. From the 40s. These are the streamers of their day, guys. The streamers of their day. They didn't have pizza, though. I can see you've got an eye for art. Uh, that's one of my best. Take a look at these. Oh, I didn't know you were a painter. I'm not. Are they any good? Well, they've got something. A certain peculiar something. <laughs> but no perspective. Is that important? I should say it is. Look at my painting. Where did you buy them? I didn't buy them. I want to sell them. Oh, you want me to sell them on commission? How much do you think they're worth? I always start everything at 25. Then 
You know, it's a hard business selling pictures. Yeah, hmm. People don't buy art nowadays. That's sad. No appreciation, no taste, no perception, and no perspective. Huh? <laughs> That's saying good about Pizza and painting the street Fridays. Let me have your name and address. I'll come back later. So long. I wouldn't put that shit by my art. Is it a bad Hello, name? Tony. Hiya, Tiny. Well, where'd you get that? Off, Nick. Well, what about my ring? You know how much a good diamond costs? Well, I gave you $900. But you pipe down. Yo. The old school raid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You've been telling me what a dope the old guy is. Maybe you're the dope. He tells you his paintings are worth a lot of money. Did you check up on his story? What's wrong with it? They're worth just 25 bucks a piece. That's what's wrong with you. You're crazy. Ooh. If I weren't a gentleman. Well, don't get sore. Well, then don't tell me I'm crazy. I tell you, the old boy. The backhander in public, dude, the 40s. His money isn't phony, is it? He could borrow dough or have it stashed away. Or even steal it. Chris Steele? Oh, jeepers, Johnny, he's not the type. He wouldn't have nerve enough to steal. Well, he didn't get it from his pictures. He may be dumb, but not about art. The day he took me to the museum, he explained how everything was done. You should have heard him. People stood around and listened. Hmm. What museum? The Metropolitan. Yipe. They've got pictures there worth a million bucks. Hmm. What's he thinking? Where are you going? I'm gonna make a monkey out of you, lazy legs. You can't take his pictures to the museum. Who says I can't? What do you just pick up? Is that a fucking egg? <laughs> is that a forty? Is that a forties thing? <laughs> oh, they both sold. Okay, the plot double thickens. You know who bought them? Janeway. A Damon Janeway. Don't you know who Mr. Janeway is? Uh -uh. He's an art critic. The best authority in New York on modern art. He took one look and bought them both. I couldn't even give him my pictures, not for nothing. He wants to get hold of you. He told me to telephone him. You wait here, huh? No, no. The plot triple thickens. Okay, so an art critic likes that guy's art. This guy's like, what the fuck? What, he's dipping? Why would he... <laughs> For cat's sake, what's so funny? You are smarty pants. You're the Mr. Fixit who was gonna make a monkey out of poor dopey little kitty. So you gave away two pictures for a couple of dimes, and now you can't collect the dimes. Oh, dry up. Cheaper. That's fine. Now what? What am I going to tell Chris? He won't find out. The heck he won't. That Janeway's a critic. He writes for the newspapers. Ah. Golly, you got us in a spot. I told you not to do it. You're just nervous. The old guy who sold him doesn't know me from Adam. Say, give me that drink. I can use it. Jeez. Chris? That's the problem with giving me your address. Oh, Chris has a key. Well, then why are you just well, chilling here for? See who it is. Hurry up. Doesn't make any sense. If Chris has a key, why is he just fucking chilling? Oh, I, I beg your pardon, but we're looking for a man, and I'm afraid I don't know his name. Oh, and I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm sorry. Oh, look. Wow. Wow. There! Wow. Oh, there he is. He must have followed Why him, did right? you run away from me like that, huh? Here, $50, less 20%. I don't know what you're talking about. But the pictures you brought me. Perhaps we'd better introduce ourselves. My name is Jane Way. This is Mr. Delaro. How do you do? What is it you want? We'd like to find out who painted the pictures. You don't know? Of course they don't know. That's what we're here for. Look, if you're a friend of the painter, you will put Mr. Delaro in touch with him. Why'd you buy those pictures if you don't know who painted them? Because they're good. Who painted them? 
Perdón. Wow. Oh, her? No, Johnny, no. Oh, don't be so modest, Miss Wow. March. Now, you see, you got me in bed. She made me promise not to tell. That's why I made out like I didn't know. <laughs> wow. She is funny about her painting. Never lets anyone see it. Doesn't even put her name on her pictures. And so I observed. You're an extraordinary artist, Miss Martin. Oh, no. See, she can't stare for anybody to talk about her. She got the idea her pictures weren't any good. That's why I took those two to you, to give her confidence. I knew they were good. Now I'll take that money. I never would have guessed it was a woman. No. All right. Your work is very strong, Miss Martin. <laughs> May we see some more of it? Sure. Go ahead. Look in the studio. Thank you. <laughs> you idiot, Johnny. You're crazy to try a thing like this. For cat's sake, I thought they were cops. I know what I'm doing. They don't know from nothing. I can't fool that critic. You always wanted to be an actress. Now's your chance. You've been around the old boy long enough to pick up his lingo. The zombie's triggered by the sexism. Some of that. The blatant sexism in the 40s. No, no, wait! How long has she been painting? Ever since she was a kid, Mr. Janeway. Never went to art school, did she? No, she just picked it up. I guess I'm the only one who's been encouraging her, kind of helping her along. As a friend, you know, just a friend. Oh, uh, I didn't get your name. Prince. His name is Prince? Oh, Mr. Janeway, she's uh, kind of upset. Maybe you'd go in and talk to her. I'm glad to. <coughs> I'm glad to. Legit, uh, legit, legit, back there, uh, back then, there probably well, weren't Mr. any big little painters. You're probably right, yeah. I wonder if Miss March would let me have all of these. What? Well, it depends, um, uh, what's, uh, in it for her. Well, prices will have to be built up, Mr. Prince, but... Okay, so he's gonna be handling the sales. She's the supposed artist. Wait, nobody, she's probably, she's probably I can usually can't paint. tell whether a canvas has been painted by a man or a woman. But you fooled me completely, Miss March. Your work is not only original, it has a masculine force. How long does it take you to paint a picture? <laughs> so sexist. Sometimes a day, sometimes a year. You can't tell, it has to grow. Of course. It's a matter of feeling. You know how, how feeling grows? It's like... Like falling in love, I guess. That's a very good description. Why I look at it. Every painting, if it's any good, is a love affair. What? Yeah, I quote that. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't write about me. I can see you're going to be a very hard case. Why don't you have confidence in your work? Because I can't draw. You do all right. I just put a line around what I feel when I look at things. Because I was like, Chris! You're a very stimulating person to talk to. Yo! How are you two getting along? I think I'm breaking the ice. Kitty, Mr. Delaro wants to handle all your work exclusively. Is it all right? As a friend, I'd advise it. Could you come to the galleries tomorrow? What time? Any time that's... <laughs> I love that speed. guy. How What's up, Herb? Welcome aboard, dude. Afterward with me. Well... I... She must have fucked the guy in the in the striped suit, Herb. I'm glad you're around, Mr. Prince, to make up her mind for her. <laughs> but they're con men, Herb. I can see you're tired, Miss March. She's trying to this work this guy over, I think. Evening. We'd better go. Until tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Janeway. So long. She's Good fucking evening. making googly eyes at three different guys, Good night, dude. Good night. Oh, my God. Good night. Good night. Lazy legs. I don't know what you told Janeway, but you got them eaten right out of your hand. It won't stop with lunch. Well, what's the difference? If you mean... Oh, stop acting like a green kid. Wow. Let him talk about what he wants to talk about, and he won't talk about art. If I had any sense, I'd walk out on you. You haven't got any sense. Whoa! 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 She's a man-eater. Make you work hard, make you sweat hard. 
She's a man eater. Yo. Right here, just like you'd sign a letter. Come on. Catherine March. Kitty. <gasps> Put that one back. The motherfuck. Kitty. The motherfuck. Chris. Oh, Kitty, I happen to be in the net. Oh, hello, Mr. Cross. I just dropped in. I thought Millie was here. <gasps> See, I hope you don't mind the by looking at your picture. Depth. Oh, no, uh, not at all, Mr. Prince. What is with this bizarre Fine fucking... Work, that's remarkable painting. You have a little trouble with perspective, don't you? Yes, that's one thing I never could master. Perspective. Well, I, I guess I'll have to run along. So long, Mr. Cross. If Millie drops in, tell her I'll be at Tiny's place. Oh, uh, don't bother, I'll let myself out. Yo, my God. Has he been here long? No, why? I don't like him. Oh, Johnny's all right. He's a nice fellow, Chris, really is. I don't know why you don't like him. Well, was he the one? One what? Well, you said there was one man. Oh, for heaven's sake, won't you ever forget that? Well, was he? No. Oh, Kitty. Go ahead and paint if you want to. I'm not going to stick around if you're going to torment me. Wow. Oh, my God. What an idiot. This Chris Cross guy is, like, the least likable protagonist. I think he's not really the protagonist, right? I think that she's the protagonist. This guy's just a dope. She wants the bad boy that's not good for her. Kitty. Did you get the bone on finally? Oh, Kitty. Oh, leave me alone. I'm going out for dinner. Kitty, don't be angry. Why do you come here if you want to quarrel? I didn't ask you to come here. Oh, please, Kitty. Oh, for Pete's sake. Go and paint. Well, I can't. I, I, I can't do a thing when you're angry with me. I think you're a very good vibe. Do you want me to go? I want you to stay here and paint. What if he paints really well when he's fucking upset? Chris, I'm sorry, Chris, but why do you torment me about something that's over and done with? Well, because I... Would you marry me? You can't. Well, something might happen. What? You better not let your wife hear you talking like that. Of course I'd marry you if you were free, but you're not, so let's not talk about it. Now you go on and paint. Well, could I paint you... Well, it's really good, I was good going to do this myself, but, uh, paint me, Chris. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so... They'll be masterpieces. So there's some symbolism here, right? Where, I should say symbolism, there's some, there's like a, there's like a foil going on. Oh, there's his wife. To see his paintings on the street, where Johnny is not at all jealous when she dates other guys, and she hates that about Johnny. But Chris is jealous of everybody. You know what I mean, it's weird. You're dropping like one of those French girls, yeah. Early foot fetish. And before you find, it's like whose paintings are those? This is, this, she's gonna die, dude. Right? She's gonna die for sure. Oh, she's gonna tell him of the, of the paintings. Oh, what the hell? Hello, Adele. I dropped over to the butcher shop like you told me to. No, time nice flew. This movie's kind of coming to a close. How long have you known Catherine March? Answer me. No. I don't know what you're talking about. No. I've known her. Good vibe, no! Well, now, don't get excited. Uh, let me help you off with your coat. Well, you're the one that's excited. Look at your... Get away with that knife. Do you want to cut my throat? How long have you known her? 
I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. You've been copying her work for years. Pretending you painted those pictures out of your own head and all the time you were just copying the work of a real artist. I'll bet you're at Della Rose every day making notes. Where? You know where. Della Rose Art Gallery in 57th Street. Oh, no! A window full of paintings by Catherine March. Why are you talking crazy? She what? gets $500 for a single picture. She's a genius. No wonder I used to think sometimes there was something in your work. Now I know why. If you ever do any more painting around here, I swear I'll write that woman a letter telling her you're stealing her ideas. You're a thief. Here well, you better watch out. Did you close, next man? Thing you were stealing his money. Did you close, man? She's fine. She almost got it, though. She almost got it. Not that one, honey. Della Rose asking for more pictures. What's going to happen now, though? She's finished it. Don't miss it. Janeway says the new pictures are the best things you've done. No, he's got a key. Wasn't Your Chris has right a key, about though. Janeway, lazy leg. Yeah, but he gets on my nerves. I've been out to dinner with him three times this week, and now he's talking about breakfast. He's getting that look in his eye. All you gotta do is keep it there. Well, it's all very well for you to say, but what about the wear and tear on my nerves? Papa will take care of Kitty. Baby's gonna have a big diamond ring and a shiny limousine and a penthouse. And Johnny? He goes with the penthouse. No! Oh, my God. Chris. What the fuck? How did my pictures get into Delarose's window? What are idiots? Oh, Chris. Don't be angry with me. No, I'm not angry. I just can't understand. It's not possible. Oh, forgive me, darling. I, I needed money. They were going to take the furniture back. I, it was humiliating. I, I couldn't ask you for more. You've been Yo. so generous. She's so sick, dude. I just couldn't. So I so sick. Herb Durkin, is she sick or not? To Delaro? Uh -huh. You actually sold those pictures? I shouldn't have put my name on him, but... Yo, Johnny, get under the bed, you idiot! I paid him, and I... <laughs> to be a three I, way, I don't think so. I couldn't give him your name. No, I can't tell him different. Can I? <laughs> no. <laughs> funny part is it... It didn't seem to make any difference. Yes, well, the funny part is it made a great deal of difference. If I'd bought those pictures to a man like Delaroy, he wouldn't have taken them. I'm a failure, Kitty. Oh, you're a great painter, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Doro said so, and so did Mr. Janeway. That is... They say I am. <laughs> well, they're going to keep on saying it. Oh, Chris. Oh, now, don't. Don't, Kitty. Yeah. Now, don't cry. I'm happy. Why, it's just like a dream. Oh, Chris, you're so good, so kind. <laughs> well, what difference does it make whose name is on those pictures, yours or mine? Why, it's just like we were married. Oh, <laughs> Only I take your name. Well, that gives me a little authority around here. What? I want to paint your picture, Kitty. How about it? <laughs> Come with me. What an idiot. He's peeking out. What a doofus. GTFO, Johnny. Let's go. Get your kid off Kitty. I'm the boss. Know what we're going to call this? Self-portrait. Self-portrait. Okay, so now she's famous as a famous painter. It's the only painting left and right. How's it gonna end though? Oh wow. Well, <laughs> hello Damon. Hello there. Hello. Well, 
This is the first time I've ever agreed with you, Jane Lane. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I find the painter even more fascinating than her painting. What's she like? Mona Lisa without the smile. Something hidden. Sometimes it seems as if she were two people. I mentioned that in my notice. Would you uh, care to see it? Come on, Jane, it's... What's up, dude? Let me put the money back in the fucking safe. Of course, this man outside says he wants to see you. Who? I ain't get no name, sir. But he said he was a detective. Remember we stole that money earlier? The novel this movie's based off of is called The Bitch. You don't like Kitty, dude? She's the best character. This guy's the worst character. The detective. This guy? Wait! Is that her? You the detective? Well, I used to be, Mr. Cross. Is that Homer? Don't you recognize me? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. He faked his death. Quite a shock, huh? Now don't faint, Mr. Cross. To get away from that woman? Head. I'll explain everything. Well, I was in trouble at the time. I'd been collecting a little extra money from the speakeasies along the waterfront. Word got around the headquarters. I was up for investigation. One night I'm down by Brooklyn Bridge, trying to fix things up. A man runs in the speakeasy and says, a woman just jumped off the bridge. So I run out and tear off my coat, jump in. The way I felt, I'm hoping I don't come up again. You mind? Huh? No. The plot quadruple thickens. <sighs> well, there I am, swimming around in the dark. I had a hold of her hat once. Next thing I know, I'm all tired out. I heard a tugboat whistle on right down on top of me. <sniffs> Comes a coal barge. So I grab a hole and climb aboard. I look down my hand. What do you think I got? Her pocketbook. That's what I grabbed a hold of when I thought it was her hat. And inside is $2,700 in folding money. Imagine anybody committing suicide with that much money. Well, the coal barge unloaded on a banana boat bound for Honduras. Well, I went with it. Yes, but if you're not dead... In Honduras. Then I'm not really married to Adele, am I? What's it worth to you for me to keep my mouth shut and just uh, fade away? Yes, but... But if you're Adele's husband... But wait a minute. I can see you need Adele. I need money. You're a cashier. It ought to be easy for you to put your hands on a couple of thousand. He doesn't need oh, Adele. I, 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 I couldn't do a thing like that. You're going back to her? No. But not to do you a favor, mister. I'm clearing out for Adele's sake. Don't think you're going to get any peace of mind either. I might turn up again someday. She'd kick you out in a minute for a man like me. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get you some money. Now you're using your head. The fuck? Yeah, but you, you'll have to wait here. I can't get it till after we close at 6 o'clock. I'll wait, Cross. Is he going to finesse this guy and bring Adele? He's going to finesse this dude. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Kitty. Hi, Mark Kitty. Hi. Don't forget the champagne, No, baby. they're living large. Nice car you have, Johnny. Good up. He wants the money to, to not keep like quiet. And so basically, he thinks me. that if he tells Adele, Adele he's alive, then Adele money. will kick out Chris. Okay, Johnny. He thinks that Chris doesn't have any money, so he has to live with Adele. Right? So he's trying to blackmail Chris. Can I borrow the ice pick? You give it back, huh? Sure. Cause he thinks that as long as Chris has Adele, then he has a, you know, a nice place to live. Thank you. But Chris doesn't care anymore. He's got a fucking apartment with Kitty. Oh, come on, Chris. Only 200? <laughs> well, uh, that's all I could get. Don't you think your wife's worth more than that? Well, look, I, uh, I want you to get all that's coming to you, Mr. Higgins. Now, what about the insurance money? Insurance? Yeah, $2,000 on your life. Adele collected it. It's really yours, isn't it? 
she keeps it right in her bedroom. That makes no sense. Now, I, I wouldn't touch a penny of it, Mr. Higgins, but if you took it, it would be perfectly easy. He's finessing this dude! But just how would I get it? That's easy. This is the night that she always goes out to the movies. I let you in. You take the money. I let you out. Yo, he is finessing this guy. Let's go, Chris. Why don't you get it? Oh, I got to be able to say that I didn't touch it. Uh, you know, Adele. Yo, Chris leveling up, dude. What if she don't go out and I show up? Your goose is cooked, isn't it? Yes, but uh, uh, I can play it safe. <laughs> How? Well, you come along the street at 11 o'clock tonight. Yo, let's go. Yo, Chris is baiting this dude. Herb Durkin knows. There's the signal. <laughs> I would never have thought this guy would come back. <laughs> oh my god, this movie's so sad. What's the briefcase for? Okay. So it's not a real Where iPad, it's a disguise. How come the lights are on? Mrs. Michaels. You remember Mrs. Michaels, don't you? Oh, yeah. And the neighbors. The fuck? Where's the money? Yeah, the iPad is for disguise, I guess. There, in the bottom drawer of the chest. Okay. Give me the flag. Yeah, she's gonna be in there, though. Yo, Chris, what are you doing? Ah! Oh, it really was? I thought that was a joke. Please! Murder! Christopher! Christopher, get on the light! Christopher! Oh, my God. He is dipping. Yeah, that's your wife now, dude. That's your wife now. Called the bitch, huh? That's funny. So I guess, yeah, I guess she's the protagonist, huh? I guess Kitty's the protagonist. She's the bitch, for sure. No! <gasps> Johnny! Yo! Oh, Johnny. Lazy, lazy. No! I love you. No! No! What's that? Chris? Johnny, is it Chris? Call him quick. Chris! Chris! No! I ought to push you over on your head. How'd I know he was coming here tonight? Who I gave him the key? Him. You don't understand anything. Well, why get sore at Well, me? what use are my brains if I'm tied up with a dumb clerk like you? I told you to watch your step, didn't I? That's right. Blame it on me. Oh, why'd you keep me here tonight? I didn't want to stay. Johnny, don't talk like that. Well, it's the truth. I'm fed up with you. Johnny! That's the only thing you were wrong with. I'm through with you. Yo, everybody's going home lonely? Except for Homer. Oh my god. Jeepers, I love you, Johnny. What? You hear that? Jeepers, I love you, Johnny. Yo, oh my god. He's going nuts, dude. Oh Lord, have mercy upon us sinners. The way of the sinner is made plain with stones, but the end thereof is the pit of hell. O oh Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Could be a very good vibe. Millie? Yeah, Kitty. You seen Johnny? Oh, I thought he'd go to Tiny's. Was he getting tight? Oh, just a fight. Listen, he can't live without me any more than I can live without him. I don't know. He said he was coming back here. To beat me up? 
Jeepers, the way that guy shoots off his mouth. <laughs> Jeepers. Oh, you don't have to warn me. That's just the way he talks. I don't know. If you were in love, you'd understand. I don't know. Oh, stop it. Johnny wouldn't kill a fly. <laughs> I assume getting tight and getting love, drunk honey. with my guest good vibe. Here he is now. And has he got a bun on? Goodbye, hon. Hello, Johnny. The fuck? Do you think it's saved by Chris, maybe? Come or is this on, Chris? Come on, Johnny. I heard you. It's Chris. Oh, no. He is drunk. You lied to me, Kitty. It was him, wasn't it? Can I help it if I'm in love? No, just an infatuation. You, you couldn't love a man like that, Kitty. He's evil. He wouldn't let you alone, isn't that right? I wanted to kill him. Well, that's wrong. Why'd you come here? To kill him. <clears throat> to ask you to marry me. What about your wife? I haven't any wife. That's finished. I can't say to you. I'm turned up. I'm free. <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> Don't cry, Kitty. I know how you feel, but that's all over now. He's cracking we all up. make mistakes. I don't care what's happened. I, I can marry you now. I, I want you to be my wife. We, we'll go away together, way far off, so you can forget this. No, her broken. You better be wrong, dude. Don't cry, Kitty. Please don't cry. <laughs> I'm not crying, you fool. I'm laughing. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> oh, you idiot! How can a man be so dumb? Kitty. <laughs> No, the knife! <laughs> I wanted to laugh in your face ever since I first met you. You're old and ugly and I'm sick of you. Sick, sick, sick! Kitty, for heaven's sake! You killed Johnny? I'd like to see you try. Why, he'd break every bone in your body. He's a man. You want to marry me? You? Get out of here! Get out! Get away from me! Chris! Chris, get away from me! Chris! Chris! No! What the fuck? The fuck? Hey! Oh! Yo, here goes fucking Look, call. Call Johnny. You killed somebody. You're right. Yeah, that cutscene herb, yeah. Yo, look at this dude! Horror shit! Yo, Johnny's coming though. Herb Durkin's right too. <laughs> Here goes the best at guessing movie climaxes, huh? Uh oh. Yo, who's gonna kill who? Gonna kill each other? Oh my god. He's gonna, he's gonna take the fall? He's gonna take the fall! Yo, Chris is gonna get away scot free, isn't he? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, look at this dude! Now that's Hitman, good vibe. That's Hitman. I used to pick murder. Famous painter slain. Oh my god. Remember uh, remember when uh, when uh, her old roommate called her and said that Johnny's gonna come beat her up? They have witnesses. Oh my. Look at this dude. What a crazy story. Chris. Yeah. Yo, the cops came. He's trying to get out of there before the cops could interview him. The fuck? Why are they glaring at him? Yeah, what can I do for you guys? Hold on, Chris. Wait a minute. What made you do it, Chris? When these officers called me, I, I wouldn't believe it. We were tipped off on the telephone. 
by a man named Higgins. I checked the cash before you came in. Do you know how much is missing? Over $1,200. We'll take him along. You can make the complaint, Mr. Hogarth. Hold on, boys. I just can't do it. But, Mr. Hogarth... I know you've done your duty, and I'm obliged to you. There's a box of cigars on the table. Take them along with you. Okay, Mr. Hogarth. It's up to you. Chris, it was a woman, wasn't it? What? I thought so. He is ace. I'm not going to put you in jail, Chris. Only, of course, you're through. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this guy's out here murdering chicks, stealing money, and well, now I he's fired. I didn't do anything. I want, a I want a lawyer. Where was you picked up? Riverside Drive. He tried to get away in the murdered girl's car. That was my car. It's 1945, dude. This is yours, too. There's no it's lawyers. Got your initials on it. Blood, Dren. But it's her blood. Mr. Pizza, dude. Great, great, great movie, dude. Fuck boy, Dren. It was taken out of her pocketbook. It was mine. It's her diamond ring. Worth, oh, five or six hundred dollars. Uh, <laughs> you guys know a lot, don't you? It cost twelve hundred. These are personal jewelry. Not much value, but he cleaned her out. Well, why wouldn't I? She didn't have any more use for it, did she? Wow. Not the best look. Listen, you guys, I want a lawyer. I'm a citizen. I got my rights. It's 1945, dude. This belongs dude. to you, too, huh? It's got your fingerprints on it. Well, naturally, I picked it up. How did I know she was dead? I thought she was asleep at first. Uh-huh. <laughs> she didn't paint those pictures. Old Cross isn't as dumb as he looks. He painted them. The accused uh -oh. brought me two pictures. He told me Miss March painted them. Yeah, In my expert deep. opinion, there's no doubt about it. What's up, Eddie? She was a very great artist. She told me she was an artist when she rented the studio. He was with her. I didn't like him then, and I don't like him now. Yeah, he was mean when he was drunk. He said he was going to fix it when he left my place around 2 a.m. Oh, my God. That's when I tell him, you look out, Johnny, you kill somebody. So he kills her with my ice pick. And then I heard her say hello, Johnny, before she hung up. He was there, all right. But what I don't understand is this talk about her being an artist. I never saw her paint. That was one of her peculiar traits. She never let anyone see her paint. <laughs> I've compared her handwriting with a signature. There's no question. Mr. Cross paint? <laughs> he only copied her work. He's a thief. He stole from me, from his employer, from Catherine March. Uh, my wife, uh, I mean my -wife. former wife is correct. I really can't paint. My copies were so bad, I had to destroy them. For God's sake, he's lying! Wow! Get in the chair at Sing Sing tonight. And he says, this is dope how you do this, Frank. I wish I could have washed it, but uh, with work. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, work is a thing, sadly. Happy to have you now, though. Hope Hello, you had a Mr. Night. Cross. Oh. Tom Crocker, Evening Globe. Oh, yes, Tom Crocker. Uh, Joe Williams, Morning World. Yeah. Conway for the ledger. Uh, the writer of this was so smart, well, I love it. Get in the chair. Are you sing sing? Yeah. I don't like to cover executions, but I must say this is one I don't mind. You sure cooked Johnny's goose, Mr. Cross, when you testified you couldn't paint. Just ending the story. Nobody cooked Johnny's goose except Johnny. The way he he shot off his mouth. He was a dead pigeon when he dragged the girl's name through the mud. I watched the jury. If he kept his trap shut, he might have got off of his life. Sure, the evidence was only circumstantial. What do you mean? Got a fair trial, didn't he? Yeah, but there's always a doubt. I suppose you fellas are going to say it was a miscarriage of justice. That someone is getting away with murder. Not me. There's no such thing. Mr. Cross, nobody gets away with murder. How's that? Oh, don't get him started. You talk your ear off. That's his pet theory. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead and laugh all you like. But no one escapes punishment. I figure we have a little courtroom right in here. Judge, jury, and executioner. Hmm. I don't get it. Well, murder never solves anything. How about it, fellas? You've covered lots of trials. 
I'm sorry, but I have to admit you're right. The problem just moves in here where it can never get out. Right here in solitary. So what? So you go right on punishing yourself. You can't get away with it. Never. That doesn't make any sense. Well, you haven't seen as much of murder as I have, Mr. Cross. I'd rather have the judge give me the work than have to do it to myself. How's that going, King? What time they throw the switch? 11 o'clock. Yo, wait, he's gonna confess? Company holiday party, what'd you guys do, okay? Get some food? Get some drink? Sound like fun. He's got doing that, doing that over here. Oh my god. Is he gonna confess, guys? Like finger foods, that sounds lame. Look at this random guy's good vibes, random guys in the train. Writers for the newspaper, they said. I didn't do it. I tell you, I didn't do it. Won't anybody believe me? Give me a break, somebody! I never had a square deal in my life! Or somebody, somebody give me a break! No, Johnny. That's it. You know, the symbolism. But now Chris is going to have to kill himself, right? So everybody's going to die. Right, everybody's going to die in the typical tragic sense. Look at this dude, he's whistling. He's feeling good. Fuck Johnny too? Yeah, fuck Johnny. Herb Rickham won NBA 2K19 at a holiday party, huh? That's funny. You ever play it, Herb? I didn't know you were into sports games. Look at this dude, he don't give a shit. Uh oh. He seems happy. Instant regret. I'll give my son. I see her. Hope he's enjoying it. Kmart, right? Johnny, Johnny. Ooh. Oh, Johnny, Johnny. Ooh. Lazy legs. Lazy legs. Johnny, darling. Johnny, darling. I'm here, baby. I'm here, baby. Jeepers, I love you, Johnny. Calm down, dude. Just play some third strike and relax. You'll get over it. Lazy legs, not crazy legs. Lazy legs. That's some asthma shit. The psychological asthma shit, dude. That shit will kill you. Oh, Johnny, now we're together. Yeah. It might get vibe. Idiot. Oh, you idiot. How can I make me so dumb? No, Kitty, no. You wanted to marry me? You? <laughs> She's mine, Chris. Let her alone! Mine forever. You killed me, Chris. You're old and ugly, and you killed me. You killed me. You killed me. No, no, Kitty. It's him. You were innocent. You were pure. That's what he killed in you. He's the murderer. No, he's not. Not Johnny. See, Chris? She loves me. That's why you had to die. You're the one I killed. <laughs> now she's mine, Chris. You killed Johnny? Johnny? I'd like to see you try. Why, he'd break every bone Kitty. in your body. He's a man. Kitty! I'm saying, chill out. Have a sandwich and a nap, Chris, my dude. Smoke a bowl. Come on, bro. Johnny, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Lazy legs. Mm. Get your whole life ahead of you, dude. Oh, Johnny. Ooh! There's something wrong in there. You're too late. Oh my god, 
Then they went hard in 45, dude. They went hard in 45. He's still alive. It's all right, old man. It's all right. Johnny. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, shake him. Jeepers, I love you, Johnny. Be real, murderer. Fat of the voices. <laughs> So now he's probably homeless. He left his wife, who had all the money, get lost up. his job. Come on, come on, get up, get up. Killed his girlfriend and her oh, boyfriend. It's you. Haven't I told you to keep out of this park? You know the mayor's orders. Oh yeah, the mayor, yeah. Guess I'll go back to my house. <laughs> Get on down to the Bowery where you belong. Come on, come on. How many on. lives have been ruined by young boobies? He's a ruined man, dude. Look at that painting in the background. They're clearly on a set. I respect that. Who's that, Rick? Oh, he's got a crazy idea. He killed a couple of people five or six years ago. Can't get it off his mind. Always trying to give himself up. No, he's always trying to. to... Be tried and executed. You know these nuts. He's been trying to turn himself in, but they won't let him do it. Are you at Christmas now? Is that a weird coincidence? Now our probably worth $10 billion if he got murdered. Remember the good times, dude. Don't dwell on the bad times. Well, there goes her masterpiece. Show the rules. The movie's moral basically really don't marry a stank bitch. For ten thousand dollars, I shouldn't think you'd mind, Mr. Telegram. <laughs> yeah, I thought she's passed away for even more. It ends at Christmas. What a weird coincidence. Remake, huh? Good vibe. He's not over yet? Kenny, uh, next up, I'm going to probably end this, huh? Let's uh, pause that. There we go. Wow, what a pretty decent film, really. Uh, I mean, I didn't think it was going to go that dark. I knew it was going to go... I, I kind of assumed it would go kind of dark, but that dark? Holy shit, dude. Next uh, is up uh, Next up is uh, Liberal Crime Squad. Can you going to enjoy that if you want to hang out and watch? Liberal Crime Squad. Neon says, uh, right up there with the Die Hard is a great Christmas. What up, uh, Neon, right? Were you here long, dude? That movie was... It had a lot of twists and turns, that's for sure. A lot of twists and turns. I'm going to go a very short break, guys. Come right back with some liberal crimes. Well, thank you for hanging out and having dinner with me here, watching this cool public domain movie. Uh, maybe we try to get in the future, right? It worked out pretty well, I feel like. It's kind of fun. I'm not sure if we ever want, uh, want to watch something as heavy next time. Maybe we'll have to like, uh, watch like some B-horror or something. Because huh? that was pretty fucking heavy. But really good, though. I kind of enjoyed the, uh, the cinematography, the script. The acting was pretty decent. Uh, also, the look back at what life was like back in the 40s. Kind of cool, right, guys? We'll go very short break and come right back with some Liberal Crime Squad. I'll see you guys very shortly. If you guys don't know what Liberal Crime Squad is, you're in for a treat. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and I think it's not very well known. What's your Python question, Kenny? Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Lazy legs. Lazy legs. It is a pretty term, yes, Kenny. Because list is the name of a function. Hey, that. I would that too. List will turn a uh, anything into a list. It's a function name, so you can't use it. 
Wow! Oh, you, you, you could you probably back here? Holy shit! That's that guy's problem. Tell's going on. That guy that was here earlier and see note or FC note. Good vibe says if it was if I was Chris, I'd have a sandwich and a nap instead of that at the end. Yeah. That'd be the twist ending. Fucking see. Don't give a fuck. Just go for the knee. Neon got you right before the climax, huh? Pretty cool movie, Neon. Pretty cool movie. I'm glad you're able to come by and see a little bit of it anyway. The week of post stream Dindin is where I'm going to be uh, streaming probably for a ninth hour a day. Maybe more like, you know, like eight and a half or so. After Middle Gear Solid, we're going to uh, have some cereal or milk or whatever or some, uh, like a, some kind of little sandwich. Maybe watch a cartoon. And then uh, call it a night after that. We're going to end probably a little bit later than usual and watch like a cartoon at the end of the night. Could be the issue, Kenny. But he didn't give, uh, he didn't give uh, his error message, did he? He told me it was a key error. So I assume that it was something wrong with a dictionary somewhere. But yeah, I, I, maybe he didn't actually have the called list. I don't know. In any case, yeah, you can't That's use it. list. You can't name something list. Now to beat the game. That could be an issue. I don't know. I prefer golden nut. I'll look at it when the stream's over. I like nuts. Johnny. The part with the painting at the end is pretty horrifying. When he's walking past and sees her painting of herself, you know, it was actually his painting. That was pretty, pretty deep shit. Lazy legs. I mean, parts of that film were so lighthearted. He's also using A for item in list, but then tries to assign item to a variable outside the, for the Kobach. I don't know. I don't know, man. 